When it comes to word problems, one key step is to carefully read the question and understand what's asking. Let's read this problem. A magazine has a special offer of 18 issues for $28.44. How much does each issue cost? Let's paraphrase the question. The magazines are on sale. Every 18 issues cost $28.44. Our task is to calculate the cost of one issue in this offer deal. Well, if 18 costs that much, then divide the cost over 18 to find out the cost for one. Therefore, the cost is the dividend and the count is the divisor. To set up a long division, the dividend is placed inside or under the division sign and the divisor on the outside. First step is replicate the decimal point that shows on the dividend if it exists. In this case, the dividend is a decimal number, so put a decimal point on the top right above the existing decimal point. The top will hold the quotient or the division answer. Now take the first digit on the left from the dividend and divide it by the divisor. Let's try that. 2 divided by 18 doesn't work. Another way to think about it is to ask how many times 18 goes into 2. In other words, how many 18s can be found in 2? The answer, of course, is 0. In general, dividing a small number over a large number brings a zero to the quotient. Since two by itself did not work, then group it with the digit right next to it. Now try dividing 28 over 18. How many times 18 goes into 28? If you are not able to answer this question using mental math, use a basic calculator. Take the whole number part of the answer that shows on the calculator screen. 18 goes once into 28. Place 1 in the quotient. Whenever a non-zero digit is written in the quotient, a sequence of steps are followed. Multiply, subtract, and bring down. Let's do that. Multiply 1 times 18, it's 18. Write it down and subtract 28 minus 18, it's 10. Finally, bring down the digit next in line from the dividend. 10 becomes 104. At this point, 104 is the no dividend, so another division cycle will begin. Divide 104 by 18. 18 goes 5 times into 104. Multiply 5 times 18, it's 90. Subtract 104 minus 90, it's 14. Now bring down the second 4 in line from the original dividend. The new dividend is now 144. Start a new cycle. Divide 144 by 18. It's 8. Multiply 8 times 18. It's 144. Subtract 144 minus itself. It's 0. Whenever subtraction results in a 0, it's the end of the long division. Each magazine issue costs $1.58. If a 16-ounce box of candy costs $8.95, how much does one ounce cost? Round your answer to the nearest cent. In this problem, the cost of the one box will be divided over the box's weight in ounces to find the price of one ounce of candy. Having said that, the cost is the dividend, so place it under the long division sign. And the weight, 16 ounces, is the divisor. Write it outside the sign. 
Know that the question specifies that the final answer must have two decimal places. First step is to place a decimal mark in the quotient since it already appears in the dividend. Try dividing 8 by 16. It doesn't work. So place a zero in the quotient right above 8. Group the first two digits from the dividend. Divide 89 by 16. Again, if not sure, use a calculator. 16 goes 5 times into 89. Write 5 in the quotient right above 9. Now multiply 5 times 16. It's 80. Subtract 89 minus 80. It's 9. Bring down 5 from the dividend. Now the new division cycle starts by dividing 95 by 16. Place 5 in the quotient. Multiply 5 times 16. Again, it's 80. Subtract 95 minus 80. It's 15. To find an accurate quotient as much as possible, bring in a zero to the original dividend. It won't change its value, but extends the low division. Now bring down this new zero. This division cycle starts by dividing 150 by 16. It's 9. Multiply 9 times 16. It's 144. Subtract 150 minus 144. It's 6. We can bring in another zero to the dividend and continue on with the division, but we're looking for an answer with two decimal digits. The quotient has three digits. Round the answer to the hundredths place. Look at the thousandths place. Since it's more than five, then the five in the hundredths place goes up to six. Each ounce of candy costs 56 cents. Long division is used to convert fractions to its decimal form. The steps are the same. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Let's begin with 7 over 16. The first step is to set up the long division correctly. The numerator is the dividend. Place it under the sign. The denominator is the divisor. Write it outside the sign. Now begin by dividing 7 by 16. It doesn't work. Then place a zero right above the 7 in the quotient. More digits in the dividend are needed, so put a decimal point right after the 7 and reflect it in the quotient. Now bring in a zero. Divide 70 by 16. It's 4. 4 times 16 is 64. 70 minus 64 is 6. Bring in a zero to the original dividend and bring it down. The division cycle starts with dividing 60 by 16. It's 3. 3 times 16 is 48. 60 minus 48 is 12. Bring in another zero, then bring it down. This cycle starts with dividing 120 by 16. It's 7. Multiply 7 times 16. It's 112. Subtract 120 minus 112. It's 8. The quotient has three decimal digits, but only two are needed. 3 is followed by 7, which is greater than 5, so 3 turns to 4. 7 over 16 approximately equals to 0 0.44. Same process for the next fraction, 72 over 5. Set up the long division. 7 over 5 is 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 7 minus 5 is 2. Now 22 over 5 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Then 22 minus 20 is 2. Write the decimal point and bring in a zero. 20 over 5 is 4. 
4 times 5 is 20. 20 minus itself is 0. 72 over 5 is exactly 14.40. Last fraction, 7 over 40. Set up the problem. 7 over 40 doesn't work. Write a decimal point and bring in a 0. 70 over 40 is 1. 1 times 40 is 40. 70 minus 40 is 30. Bring in a 0. 300 over 40 is 7. 7 times 40 is 280. Subtract. It's 20. Bring in another zero. 200 over 40 is 5. 5 times 40 is 200. Subtract. The division ends here. Look at the quotient. 7 is followed by a 5. Then 7 is turned into an 8. 7 over 40 is approximately 0 0.18. Write each fraction as a repeating or circulating decimal. A repeating decimal is a number that has one decimal digit that repeats infinitely. A circulating decimal is similar, but a set of digits repeat forever. Let's change 9 over 11. Set up the long division. 9 over 11 doesn't work. Write a decimal and bring in a zero. 90 over 11 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. 90 minus 88 is 2. Bring in another 0. 20 over 11 is 1. 1 times 11 is 11. 20 minus 11 is 9. Bring in a 0. 90 over 11 is 8. 8 times 11 is 88. 90 minus 88 is 2. Bring in another zero. 20 over 11 is 1. The long division will not stop and it will always result in repeating the digit segment 81. This quotient is a circulating decimal. Write a little bar over the repeating group 81 to indicate that decimals 8 and 1 will keep repeating indefinitely. 414 over 3 follow the same long division steps. The quotient is a repeating decimal since one digit 6 repeats indefinitely. Again, put a little bar over the digit 6 to signify it as a repeating digit. 414 